Hi guys, Mr. New Mobile here. Apple iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro, release date, price, specs and leaks. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. The iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro promise the biggest changes to Apple's lineup in years, from the sheer number of models, and a new design to 5G connectivity, and a powerful new A14 Bionic processor. You can also expect a big camera upgrade, and possibly 120Hz displays for the Pro models. Although the iPhone 12's launch could be somewhat delayed, though there's some argument as to how big that delay will be, rumors and leaks have painted a pretty full picture of what to expect from Apple's new handsets, including the release date, price and specs. The iPhone 12 is expected to come in four models, the 5.4-inch iPhone 12, 6.1-inch iPhone 12 Max, 6.1-inch iPhone 12 Pro, and 6.7-inch iPhone 12 Pro Max. All of the new iPhone 12 devices should feature OLED displays and 5G connectivity, but the i20Hz, refresh rate and triple rear cameras, plus a lighter sensor. We could also see a new design for Apple's phones, one that harkens back to the iPhone 5's flat edges and more squared off look. And there should be a slimmer notch too. The best phones you can buy now iPhone 12 vs iPhone 11, the biggest changes to expect plus, iOS 14 features, iPhone compatibility, beta download guide and more the iPhone 12 isn't expected until the fall, no one's quite sure precisely when, but here's everything we know so far about Apple's next smartphones. Latest iPhone 12 news, updated July 22, according to a new iPhone 12 camera leak, the camera should offer better autofocus, but a periscope zoom may not be in the cards until 2022. A new report says that all four iPhone 12 models will support all types of 5G previously, only the iPhone 12 Pro models were expected to include support for higher speed and wave 5G. The iPhone 12's 5NMA14 Bionic chip has leaked, and it promises a big upgrade in performance and efficiency. And now we've seen leaked photos of the A14 botch in September, multiple reports point to a delay for the iPhone 12. Most Apple watchers have circled October on their calendar, after the Wall Street Journal reported that mass production has been pushed back by a month. That sparked talk of the iPhone 12 launch event being pushed back to October, which would be the first time since 2011 that the event wasn't held in early September. Apple supplier Broadcom has said that one of its customers is facing a major product delay, it's widely assumed the company was referring to Apple and the iPhone 12. One report even claims that we may not see the iPhone 12 until November. The most optimistic report comes from Wedbush, where analyst Daniel Ives says the iPhone 12 will appear in late September, with the phone shipping in early October. That would be only a few weeks behind Apple's normal schedule. Even if the iPhone 12 does arrive in September, the most premium model could be held back. According to an April 2020 supply chain report, the standard iPhone 12 series will enter mass production in September, while the rumored iPhone 12 Pro Max will follow suit in October. A delay could prove phone's potential rivals, the Galaxy Note 20, is set to debut at an August 5 Samsung event. The longer the iPhone 12 stays off the market, the more time the Note 20 has to establish itself. Analyst John Prosser believes that the 5.4-inch iPhone 12 with two rear cameras will start at $649, which would be quite affordable at $50 less than the iPhone 11. The iPhone 12 Max with a 6.1-inch screen would cost $749, However, a newer report based on an analyst note from Jeff Poole says that the 5.4-inch iPhone 12 will start at $749. This would be $50 more than the iPhone 11 and, presumably, without a charger or earpods in the box. There could be a surprise fifth model of the iPhone 12, according to Wedbush analyst Daniel Ives, which would be even cheaper than the $649 regular iPhone 12. However, this more affordable iPhone 12 would be 4G only. In fact, one leaker on Twitter says that the 4G-only iPhone 12 could be priced The iPhone 12 Pro, which would have three rear cameras plus a lighter sensor, may start at $999. The iPhone 12 Pro could also feature a 120Hz ProMotion display, but that's not a lock quite yet. Last but not least, the iPhone 12 Pro Max would feature a 6.7-inch display and cost $1,099 to start iPhone 12 models since a forecast from analyst Ming Kai Kuo last year, we've known that four different iPhone 12 models are on tap for 2020, one at 5.4 inches, two at 6.1 inches, and the largest variant measuring 6.7 inches. All four 2020 iPhones will have 5G, Kuo says. These four phones are also expected to incorporate OLED displays, which would mark a change for Apple. Like the iPhone XR before it, the iPhone 11 features an LCD display instead of an OLED panel. Here's a closer look at what to expect from each iPhone 12 model, as detailed by a report from display supply chain CEO Ross Young. 
iPhone 12. Look for the entry-level iPhone 12 to feature a 5.4-inch OLED 12, to feature a 5.4-inch OLED panel with rumored resolution of 2340x1080. Young expects the display to feature Y-Octa technology, which means that the touch sensor is integrated directly into the display. In terms of other hardware, the iPhone 12 is expected to feature an A14 processor, 4GB of RAM and a choice between 128GB and 256GB of storage. Like the iPhone 11, this model will rely on dual rear cameras, losing the telephoto in the Pro variants iPhone 12 Max. This 6.1-inch iPhone will feature the same hardware as the standard iPhone 12, A14 processor, 4GB of RAM, 128GB or 256GB of storage and dual rear cameras. The biggest difference will be the screen and battery size, both of which will see increases. The iPhone 12 Max will have a larger flexible 6.1-inch OLED panel with 2532x1170 resolution iPhone 12 Pro. The 6.1-inch flexible OLED on this model could be the first phone to feature 10-bit color support. This model could be the first phone to feature 10-bit color support, according to Young. It will feature a 2532x1170 resolution along with Y-Octa technology. There's a chance this phone's screen could support a 120Hz refresh rate. Expect 6GB of RAM in this A14-powered model with storage options ranging from 128GB to 512GB. The Pro series is rumored to feature three rear lenses, highlighted by a 64MP main sensor, plus a lighter time-of-flight sensor, that will improve performance of iPhone Arkansas apps. iPhone 12 Pro Max. Expect the same RAM, storage and camera features as the iPhone 12 Pro, only with a bigger 6.7-inch OLED panel. Resolution could be 2778x1824, and a 120Hz refresh rate is a possibility here too. If you're wondering how all four rumored iPhone 12 models compare, John Prosser shared an image on Twitter back in April showing the four models and their key specs. Japanese blog Makatakara acquired 3D printed mockups of all four Kara acquired 3D printed mockups of all four models from Alibaba sources, providing us with a visual preview of how the range will bear out in terms of size. The mockups are quite low quality, and the fact they were seemingly pulled off Alibaba makes their legitimacy dubious at best, but at least it's another clue. A better look at how the different sizes compare comes in a YouTube video by iUpdate that shows iPhone 12 dummy units in three different sizes and how they fit in people's hands. iPhone 12 design. So what will the new iPhones look like? All four iPhone 12 models are expected to bring back the flat metal edge design of the iPhone 5, according to Bloomberg. This design change will also bring the iPhone lineup closer to the iPad Pro 2020. The most interesting variant should be the 5.4-inch iPhone 12, which has been leaked via a purchase dummy unit, as seen in the image above. It's even smaller than the 4.7-inch iPhone 7, despite having a larger display. And it's not significantly larger than the original 4-inch iPhone SE. Recently, a swath of iPhone 12 dummy units have been making their way out of iPhone 12 dummy units have been making their way out to the public. These mockups are often constructed to assist accessory and case makers in developing upcoming products. McRumors recently got its hands on several of them, and they offer a good sense of how the 5.4, 6.1 and 6.7 inch models will compare in terms of size. If you're a bit confused as to why the rear cameras and notches look unchanged from the iPhone 11 range, the simple reason is that these finer design details often aren't accounted for in dummy units because they're usually not important to the construction of accessories. As it happens, it's been rumored that Apple will downsize the notch by a considerable margin in its upcoming phones. John Prosser leaked schematics indicating as much back in April. Meanwhile, various designers have tried their hand at creating mockups of what the next iPhones will look like, based on rumors and leaked CAD drawings. The folks at Concept Creator built a render of the 5.4-inch iPhone 12, published in a video by Let's Get Digital. You'll note that it has flatter sides and a smaller notch, as well as a SIM tray that has flatter sides and a smaller notch, as well as a SIM tray that is moved beneath the volume buttons. Sped Apple has published an even more recent mockup of the iPhone 12 Pro in this new hue. iPhone 12. Will it have USB-C? Advertisement Apple has given its iPhones its proprietary lighting port since the iPhone 5. However, times are changing. The newest generation of iPad Pro uses USB-C as does basically every other portable device manufacturer in the world right now, but more important than that is the influence of the European Union. The EU recently voted to make manufacturers use USB-C in order to increase consumer convenience and decrease waste. Apple has objected to this ruling, but it isn't going to have much of a choice, but to react eventually the question is when. Based on the timing, it's likely Apple won't be in a position to make the switch to USB-C until the iPhone 13 in 2021, and even then, the company could likely find ways to stall a forced change. 
In fact, one such strategy could be ditching ports altogether and skipping over USB-C for at least one iPhone 13 model. That rumor also comes from John Prosser. Prosser's claims about the iPhone 12 and iPhone have been repeated by Chocobit, a leaker with apparent inside knowledge. In fact, Chocobit says the iPhone 13 will employ the iPad Pro Smart Connector, either as a supplement or, more likely, a replacement for Lightning iPhone 12 and 5G Airport from Nikkei says that all iPhone 12 models will ship with support for 5G networks, but there's some disagreement as to whether all models will support every type of 5G. While well, Apple analyst John Prosser agrees that all four iPhone 12 models will ship with 5G networking support, the 5.4-inch iPhone 12 and 6.1-inch iPhone 12 may not support Wave technology, which offers the fastest download speeds. Instead, these more affordable devices would support only sub-6GHC 5G advertisement 5G, and this lower band offers longer range, but slower data rates than Wave technology, which can reach up to 2Gbps. The iPhone 12 Pro and iPhone 12 Pro Max will reportedly offer Wave and sub-6GHC 5G, giving shoppers the best of both worlds. Verizon 5G is focusing, at least initially, on Wave speeds, but typically requires line of sight. DD Times had backed up the report that only the iPhone 12 Pro models would offer both Wave and Sub 6GHC, but a new report from the publication claims that all four iPhone 12 models will feature wide 5G support. That means the iPhone 12 and 12 Max would work on Wave 5G, too. Because Apple bought Intel's modem business last year, it's expected that Apple will eventually stop getting its 5G modems from Qualcomm and will design its own modems in-house, the same way it does for its A-series processors. That won't happen in time for the new iPhone 12, though. The earliest we expect to see an iPhone with an Apple-built modem is 2021, though realistically it's probably more than two years away. Anyways guys that is all the news for iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro. Please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video.